Hey everybody, it is me, Flog, from Are You Gaming, and I'm here in my Deadpool pixelated form, or farmer pool, perhaps, you would like to say. And I am playing Minecraft. Yes, that's right. Me and I, Geeling, both have Minecraft accounts, and we do play from time to time. And this is one of the things that we've made that we really wanted to show off. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we've done. We wanted to go a little bit simplistic, so there's not a whole lot of like technical stuff, and especially just right now. There's a big house, and I'm going to show you the garden first. This is mostly my stuff right here. That's why I'm Farmer Pool. But what we have here is we have the first set of crops that have come in that are edible crops. Uh, or I, Yeah, I think all of these are edible crops. So we got carrots and we got wheat and we got blackberries, chilies, all kinds of stuff. We're playing on the Yogg's Gas Complete Pack, so there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can find in the grass. Just destroy the grass, find the seeds, grow it up. It's awesome. Also, right here in the middle, you'll notice that there's this... Uh, yeah, it's a sprinkler. Uh, it's it's pretty much just set on top of a tank made by Open Blocks. You got to make sure it's an Open Blocks tank, not a Mirror Culture tank, because when you download this pack, there will be tanks from both things. And I accidentally uh, made the Mirror Culture one, and it didn't work, and I couldn't understand why. And then I, yeah, basically, I was real stupid, guy. Anyway, what I've gone ahead and done is I've set it up and everything, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it by the recipe and I already have it typed in and everything and ready for you guys so the sprinkler is essentially just three iron ingots on each side iron bars at the top and the bottom in the middle and a redstone torch in the very middle so they're very 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 cheap to make and uh, the tanks are pretty cheap to make too if I can remember correctly or they might have they might cost some obsidian so they might be a little bit more expensive but the good news is, is that you don't have to have that if you can dig down underneath wherever you're going to plant your crops and you can put an infinite water source down you can use something called a liquid transfer node and liquid transfer pipes and just pipe up the water to the sprinkler the sprinkler will kick on like this and it'll just have an infinite water supply so that's the food crop over here on the other side we have the uh, not food crop this is uh, cotton right here and then the cotton runs right into the witchery stuff that we're getting into and some magical crop stuff as well the witchery stuff is actually uh... we're i think we're both trying to get into that we're both trying to learn a little bit more about it because there's cool things that you can get like familiars that you can't get in the real world like owls and stuff like that so check out witchery if you guys are into that kind of stuff it's pretty cool uh... but like i said with the cotton here we don't really have to worry about finding spiders and finding string and stuff like that because we've already got a cotton farm. Uh, over here, this is a lot of my stuff. My stuff is basically, I'm trying to do a lot of the ale production and the alcohol stuff. So with the hops over here, that helps me with the ale. Uh, hops and wheat make ale, in, and I'll show you guys here in a bit what happens. Also, we've got grapes over here, and these grapes I'm using to make wine with. And trust me pretty good one also I know that you don't have to set it up like this I saw it set up in a village and I realize that now and I'm probably gonna go ahead and amend it at a later point in time but for right now this works out just well also we've got some sugarcane and we got some water artichoke and some rice along there in the patty I don't know if you guys know how to make rice in the patty but basically you uh, get farmland you hoe the land and then you right click with a shovel and it'll dig down into that thing like that and then you'll be able to plant your uh, rice you just grab the rice in your hot bar and you just plant it right there like that that's awesome uh, the, the just the inclusion of rice and all these cool crops is pretty cool anyway let's go ahead and go inside the house uh, well first I guess we should ring the doorbell uh, let's try it. Uh, okay, doesn't look like anybody's home. Oh, wait. It's my house. Never mind. We can just go ahead and walk right in. All right. But we got here, we got couches that I can't sit on. Because if I try to, it tells me that sitting is disabled. Please stand by. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. All right. We got a TV here. TV's got three channels. We got He-Man. We got Neon Cat. And we got nothing. So I'm going to switch it to Nyan Cat let it keep going. 
This is pretty much all Daijiling. Daijiling pretty much decorated and built this entire house by herself because she is epically awesome in every way. And I love the lighting in here. The lighting is awesome. You got some inverted white lanterns, stuff like that. She's even got a trash can. Even a trash can. The trash can will literally get rid of anything that you put in it, and you won't have to worry about it ever again. I can sit down at these chairs, but it's a little glitchy, and sometimes it gets stuck, so I'm not even going to try. But, let's see, she's got some cabinets. She's got food up in the cabinets. And we've even got a little fridge. Yep, that's right. And the cool thing about the fridge is in the freezer, if you put snowballs here and you put an ice tray here, you'll end up getting ice cubes. Yes, you can put ice cubes in your nice hot or cold Minecraft drink. Sure, whatever. Anyway, we got a radio over here. This radio will actually let you listen to um, the Open Blocks radio, at least. Will allow you to listen to online radio stations if you have Opus installed and activated on your Minecraft mod list. So if you got Opus, you can go ahead. Uh, there's uh, little things that you have to collect out in the world. They're mostly in treasure chests, and they'll give you what you need to listen to it. Everybody has to have it installed to be able to hear it. So like if you have it installed and your friend doesn't, then your friend won't be able to hear it, but you will. And then they'll just think that you're crazy or that you're listening to the radio and not paying attention to them. Anyway, the outside staircase will lead us up to the second floor. And I will fall off the staircase. That is perfect, guys. I will climb up the staircase and go inside and close the doors behind me as I have always been. And what we got here is we've got some garland. Uh, and you can wear these on your head. In fact, I'll go ahead and I'll put one on right now. I'm pretty! I'm pretty, pool. That's right. I'm going to walk around with garland on my head. And then I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to show you the computer. The computer is really cool. If you guys don't know anything about the Mr. Crayfish furniture mod, you guys need to check it out because it's pretty cool. I mean, if you've got an excess supply of emeralds, which not a lot of us do, you can actually buy stuff instead of building it on Mine Bay. Yes, Mine Bay, everybody. That's pretty cool, but it's kind of expensive because you have to find the emeralds, and emeralds are pretty rare anyway. So, then there's also a printer, and i got to figure out how the hell to use this. I've tried numerous different things, and I can't figure out exactly how to use it, so I'll get back to you on that one, guys. And, uh, Jesus! Well, I didn't see her put that painting up. Well, that is a disturbing looking ghast. Uh, I'm not going to look at that anymore. We got uh, the twin beds pushed together. <laughs> if you know... <laughs> uh, this is a game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, we got bed uh, bedside drawers on each side, which is really cool. So we can store just little random stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put my pants and some other oh no i want to keep that put some other stuff in there i've got this cool shadow iron stuff that she also made that's pretty damn cool if i do say so myself uh pretty much everything that we've made so far we have found either in the twilight forest or somewhere in a dungeon which is really cool we've been really lucky in this minecraft world usually not so lucky but anyway what up we got what we have here is we have the mistcraft stuff this is where I'm gonna put all my books to different dimensions and everything and I'm gonna be able to travel to all kinds of cool places and I'm gonna be able to take you guys with me and show you guys what's going on anyway I'm gonna go out here on the balcony and this is pretty much the best view of the entire farm and I'm so glad that Daijiling went ahead and put the effort in to build this because this is epic and I've really been telling her lately that she needs to design to, de bleh, to design real people's houses seriously she's incredibly good at this kind of stuff she's very kind of OCD which makes her kind of a perfectionist which makes her kind of awesome I mean she's awesome anyway but I mean this just is amazing it really is so we're going to go ahead, head back outside now, and I'm going to take you down the stairs, and I'm going to take you around to the back. And around back, we have, I'm going to skip that door for a second, that's going to take us down to the cellar where I'm going to show you some other cool stuff that I've been doing. But, anyway, what we have here is we have my smeltery, and the smeltery's got stuff in it, you know. I've uh, been to the nether, obviously, 
And uh, I can actually, I'm going to show you a fly around of the entire area as my bat form at the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and splice two things together and I'm going to show you a little thing. But before we go any further, I want to show you the Twilight Portal. There's a wild hog down <laughs> I forgot that we, we found a uh, safari net. And it said that there was a mystery inside, and so we dug a hole and let it out, and it was a wild boar from the Twilight Forest. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we were going to lure, well, we have a transformation tree, so we were going to try to transform some of our animals and stuff like that anyway, but we found that, and that was pretty cool. Anyway, this is our Twilight Portal. This will take us to the Twilight Forest. I'm not going to show you guys this right now. I'll probably do another video later, and I'll show you guys the Twilight Forest and all the cool stuff you can find in there. But, basically, all you have to do is you have to create a water, uh, basically an infinite water source in a 2x2 two two block. And then, surround the outside of that in any kind of nature stuff. It doesn't have to be flowers. It doesn't have to be anything else. As long as it is something nature-related, that's all that it matters. And then you throw a diamond into the water, so it costs one diamond. So you do have to at least have diamonds by this point. You throw one in, a giant lightning bolt hits, so you might want to step back before you throw the diamond in, and then you will be able to go to the Twilight Force. But you got to have that mod installed, and you guys really should check it out. It's pretty cool. they got minotaurs in there, there's nagas, and there's giant castles that reach all the way up into the sky. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you, but like I said, I'll show you guys that later. Um, over there in the distance behind my smeltery, we have not only the portal to hell, but also my twin wind turbines, which are powering a bunch of, uh, t uh, a bunch of machinery over there. I have to build kind of like a shed or something for that, because sitting out in the open, it's just going to rust from all the rain, right guys? I mean, I can't just leave that out there, that's crazy. But I haven't really gotten to work on that yet, because I've been working on other stuff lately. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take you down into the cellar. The cellar is pretty cool. This is my baby. This is what I've been working on for a while. And you will be able to tell. Because look at these obsidian chests. Yeah. Look how many there are. Yeah. I built all of those. So, yeah. It took a long freaking time for me to get, be able to get all this stuff. And uh, I, I never want to do it again. Anyway, what I've set up here is I've set up a little system. And down below this, you'll see there's a transfer node for items. What you do is you build one of those and you attach it to pretty much anywhere on a chest. And then you run mod sorting pipes off of that to any other chest. And what I've done is I've lined up a bunch because I'm kind of OCD and I need everything to be in the right place. So basically what you do is you put something in here and it'll transfer to the mod chest. That's right. If, there, if all of these were empty and I put something in here, the first chest would fill up with the very first thing. Then the second thing, if it was a, from a different mod, it would go to the second chest and so on and so forth. So in here, anything from the Twilight Forest, obviously, anything from that mod is going to be in here. And so on and so forth. So I had to make two walls because there's so many mods. There are so many mods in, uh, in the Yogscast Complete Pack. That, that it, yeah, it's just insane. Also, I've got this random stuff over here. There's not a whole lot of it, and I don't think we're going to be working with a lot of it. So, except for maybe that power suit thing. That's going to be pretty cool. But, other than that, everything in here I'm just not going to sort because there's not enough of it. And I'm also going to do some other stuff down here. I'm just not too sure what just yet. Also, we got Flog's Microbrewery, and this is the last thing that I'll be showing you guys because I think that it's a really, really cool something weird with that door anyway uh there's going to be some uh really cool stuff going on down here and i'm going to show you guys what's going on along with all along the wall here we've got these ferment barrels and inside of the first two we have grape wine young and sake young that's right you can make a lot of different kinds of, well not a lot but you can make ale cider um you can make sake and you can make grape wine so far I think they're probably going to end up adding more, but they're sitting on top of crafting stations because I thought it looked cool because it looks like they've got a little tablecloth underneath them and everything. So that's pretty cool. Over here in the corner, we have the fruit press. The fruit press, when up, doesn't really do anything. It lets you uh, take out, I guess, what's in it. But when you hit that and it goes down, if I, if I were to put grapes in this slot right here, it would squish them into grape juice 
or it would be grape wine. It actually crushes it into grape wine. Then I would collect it in a bucket once it hits a thousand. Then I take it over and plop it in one of the ferment barrels so that I can continue uh, to I can continue the fermentation process. Basically, when this is full, you can do it at any time, but I like to wait until it's full so I have a lot of any kind of alcohol. So that way, me and my friends and Casey and uh, and all the people that I know and Digeeling and stuff like that, we can all get together and we can drink and stuff like that. Over here, you just put some nether wart, uh, and this would turn into uh, grape wine... Uh, uh, it would turn into actual grape wine that you could drink and get drunk and then you would add something like glowstone dust or redstone to make it either potent or extended potent will get you drunk longer no wait, potent will get you drunk faster and extended will get you drunk for a longer period of time which doesn't really have a lot of you know I mean I've been drunk on this thing before and it's like six minutes of just swirling nonsense and that's just terrible but it's pretty fun to make the stuff, so yeah. But here's the brew kettle. Underneath the brew kettle, I have some nether rack, and I lit it on fire, because you have to have a fire source underneath the brew kettle. So we've got water over here, and then I would put rice right here, and it would make sake. Or, and on the flip side of that, I could put wheat here, and it would make ale non-hopped. And I would take it, put it in a bucket, then put it back over here, and then put um, hops right here, and it would make hopped ale, and then I would ferment it in the barrel. So, that's pretty much what it is. Over here, I've got some of the stuff that I need to make it. I've got some more ferment barrels as well. So, here on the oak shelf, we do have some wine that I've made. We have fermented potent, 60% chance of tipsy. So, when I drink this you'll see that I get tipsy and resistance too. Now, tipsy is kind of a thing that, you know, everybody does when they get drunk. I'm not going to drink anymore because once you hit tipsy four, the whole thing turns into a swirling mess that you can't really see through anymore. And as much as you guys would probably like to see that, it does kind of mess it up for like six and a half minutes. And I don't want to be wandering around getting you guys sick while everything's swirling around. Anyway... That is pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, other than the fact that I'll go ahead and I'll get into my bat form, and I'll do a little fly around. Yes, I have the morph mod installed. That's the reason why I'm able to fly around as a bat. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I think maybe the config files got a little messed up. So I could go into creative mode and fly around, but I won't do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to mess around with the config files that way I can fly around obviously when you got the morph mod you can turn into things and as you can see here I can turn into a lot of different stuff uh, but if you don't have the config file set uh, sometimes you have to beat the wither in order to unlock the abilities with each one of these but I'm not gonna really worry with that sometimes you you can set it to either 0 1 or 2 1 means that you have to go to the nether first which I should just set it to 1 so that way both me and Digeeling and case and Casey and anybody else that comes onto the server can go ahead and do it but um yeah we're gonna go ahead though and I'm going to, um, uh, I guess I'm going to have to sign off now because I've shown you everything that I really want to show you. This might be the beginning, like I said, of a new Minecraft series for me and, uh, me and Digeeling and all of our friends and stuff like that and anybody who wants to come onto the server. We're trying to set it up so that everybody can get in here. I'm going to get a uh, more powerful server so that way there's not a lot of lag and everything, so... You guys just be uh, just be patient, and we'll be there shortly. Anyway, I am Flog, and this has been Flog showing off his Minecraft stuff. So I will see you in the next video, whichever one that is. And I hope you enjoyed the first four-way into Flog and Digeeling play Minecraft. That's right. This might be a couples play thing in the future, but right now it's just a single. So, hope you guys have a nice one, and I will see you in the next video. And remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you like what we're doing, and tell all your friends about us. And I'm going to leave some, 
I'm going to leave some links in the description that you guys can check out, especially the Freedom Network. Those guys are awesome. And also there's going to be a vlog up in one of the corners that you can click on so that you can vote for the game that you would like to win at the end of this week. That's right. This Friday, I'm going to be giving away whatever game gets the most votes. So I'm going to post that, or I'm going to have that in one of the corners. So you just get ready to click on it right now. But I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.